I think tomorrow would be a better idea. So that we can go get the stuff, get up early, get the stuff. I can do your hair and be done with this. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. Anyway, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. This is Life with Remedy. Of course, I am your girl, Remedy. If you are returning to my channel, thanks for coming back. Thanks for the support. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications. And like and comment. And share. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a cousin, tell a best friend, tell a auntie, uncle, cousin, jet, um, grandma, baby, daddy, baby, mom, whoever. Friend, enemy, friend of me, you know. Sad thing, boo thing, in between thing. Just tell everybody. Anyway, as y'all can see, I am back with another Vlogmas banger. This video is kind of, um, I'm not gonna say kind of, this is a very, 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 very important video. And I think that we need to drop this, especially with it being Christmas time. And of course, this needs to be told, okay? So, as you can see, I have my girls with me. This is. And that is, that's KK and Yaya. So, um, we went to Walmart yesterday and something interesting happened and I felt like we needed to share with y'all, you know, share with the family, let y'all know what's going on. Maybe, you know, let y'all know, like, if you don't know, you will know after this video. How about that? So, which one of y'all want to start? KK, you gonna go first because you, you saw everything. Oh my God. Okay, so I'll start it out. So yesterday, we were all at Walmart. It was me, my husband, the girls. And then it was L.A. and our other children. And so we basically took the girls out so that they could get their Christmas shopping out the way for everybody. And they can tell you the rest from here, and then I'll chime in at the end. Um, go ahead. There you go, girl. Okay, so you was going to look for your gift, KK. I'm sorry I interrupted. Go ahead. Yeah, this lady started calling me. She came out of nowhere. She was like, hey, hey, come here. And then she started walking towards me. And then Tiani asked me. I had told Tiani. And then she was like, where? And then by the time Tiani turned back around, I ran. And then... And Tiani took off too. So, when we were going to go get our gift for somebody, my sister had tapped me and then she said, uh, that lady keep calling us. And then when I turned around, asked, louder, when I turned around and asked her who, she was like, all I heard was, hey, you, come here, you could trust me, you could trust me, come here, I'm not, I'm not going to touch you, I'm not going to do nothing. She was like, you could trust me, come here, come here. So I checked around and I looked at her and by the time when I, by the time I asked her who she you asked had who, who? To, when, by the time I had asked to Kayla who she had turned like when she had turned like she was turning the corner. <laughs> she just she, got out she, of there. <laughs> she just ran and took off on me. And so I'm just like, well, oh well. And so I took off running and then she was just like she was coming still walking towards us. But when we started running, she was like, don't run. And then we was just running. I was going to run straight past my mom. <laughs> so my at this point, I guess after all that had happened, me and um, Eddie was on the opposite side of the wall from them. They didn't know we were right there. I'm going to say maybe two hours over on the opposite side of the wall. And I, something told me to look to the left. And when I looked, all I saw was KK run past. All I saw was her pink jogging suit and her brace. And I'm like, KK, like, what the hell going on? And then I heard Yaya like, Mom. And I'm like, turn around. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So at this point, KK is coming from the left. Yaya is coming from the right. And I'm like, what the hell happened? And so they told me what went on. And I'm like, what lady? Show me who she is. So at this point, we get to walking in the direction they had just ran from. Because I'm looking for it. Like, because, baby girl, not, not these two. You know, I don't play by mine. So I want to know, what was your reasoning? You know what I'm saying? Like, what was behind you calling out to children that you, first of all, don't fucking know? 
Then telling somebody they can trust you, lady. They don't know you. Like, and and and, and I'm gonna say this, and I hope don't nobody take it no type of way. But this was a black lady. Okay? This was a black lady. So being a sister, you know that black people don't play them games. I mean, come on now. You don't run up on people, kids talking about come here, let me talk to you. You can trust me, come here. So anyways, we walk in and we looking for the lady. And you know, I'm loud because I want the bitch to hear that I'm looking for her. So when we get to a certain point, she pops out and now she got her husband with her. So she's like, oh, I know y'all mom. I'm not sure if that's y'all mom, but I know y'all mom. She used to be a manager in the front. And I'm like, yeah, I know you. But at the same time, I'm still confused because I'm trying to figure out. The look in my face was like, okay, and your point was what? And I think she knew that. And she was like, oh, well, I just wanted to talk to them because, you know, my son was in here. What she said about her son? That he was running and they tried to say that he was stealing or something. Yeah, she's like, my son, they tried to say he was stealing because he was running and blah, blah, blah. First of all, they weren't running until you approached them. Secondly, they were shopping. So what will make you just single them out? talking about your son first of all fuck your son okay that's what i want to get it out there and, 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 and i don't care if this person sees this video because hey fuck you and your son so i was really upset about it but i'm like okay yeah you know i kept it cute okay uh-huh yeah uh-huh yeah 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 so at this point she's trying to really explain herself and the thing that really wigs me out about the whole thing is this couple is always in freaking Walmart or Myers. When I was a manager, I used to be a CSM at my Walmart last year. And I worked the front end and they were always in the store. And it was so bad that they was in the store so much that I used to always be telling LA and even one of my former coworkers, like, it's something to them. You know what I'm saying? You're not just in here for no reason. Then they would always act like they're returning something or exchanging something. But they would be in there for, like, hours on end. And I'm like, something not right. Like, you know how you can see people when you just get that feeling that something's just off with them? Mm -hmm. Or make your little spidey senses go off and stuff. So, I had that with Bullet. these people. Bullet is parked. That's that man's <laughs> car. But... I really had like that feeling about them. So when they popped out yesterday and she was explaining it and then her husband was like, um, we ain't mean no harm. And then for my girls to say that he was not even in the vicinity. Like when this like, lady was nowhere. trying, when this lady was trying to talk to them, he was nowhere around. But then when she realized that I was looking for her, now all of a sudden magically he pops up and you pop out too. Like my whole thought process with that is human trafficking the way they're snatching these little girls up especially the afro little girls up kidnapping and all this old sex trafficking stuff that's going on because why if they're standing there looking at items in the department that they were in would you just single them two out like come here you can trust me come here talk to me like what was your point you know what i'm saying as a black mother I'm not trying to bother nobody kids. You know what I'm saying? Because I know how I'm going for mine. And I know how I'm going to clown for mine. Like, if you really felt that way, you could have waited. I mean, Walmart is a big store, yeah. But once you in line, you see kids with their mama. So if you would have saw them by themselves, and then once you saw them with me, you could be like, girl, look, let me tell you. If I was you, I wouldn't let them do this. Because last year when my son was in here, they tried to profile him as a robber. I mean, a... Uh, 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 shoplifter so i you know i would recommend that you know you keep it out on them because you know how funny i can need people with kokomo is or you know what i'm saying anything you don't just go up to and try to converse with them you don't go up to a shit a 16 17 year old and try to converse with them but you decide to pick a 13 and a 14 year old out and say oh come here you can trust me bitch didn't they teach you about stranger danger when you were in school so what I why, why would I trust bitch? I, I don't trust nobody. So why would you think I'ma trust you and I don't even know you? And they so shook up at a whole little experience. It's like, do we even go to Walmart again? <laughs> you know? No, I don't want to go to Walmart. You know, so I'm like, you know, we need to vlog about this because my thing is when you're out shopping, 
and we all know this and i didn't feel like it was a big thing for me to let them go two hours over to look at something because we were right there even though they didn't know we were right there we were right there you know because i was kind of like giving them their space to like be able to budget pick out what they need to pick out manage the money that they spending you know what i'm saying but i'm still close enough to hear if something's going on so I heard something going on before, like even before they ran past. I heard somebody scream, like talking loud. And I'm like, what the hell is that? That's what I said, Eddie, what the fuck? Do you hear that? And he's like, yes, you know. But before we could elaborate more on the point of what we heard, we ended up going off into a whole nother conversation because at this point we don't saw KK run past and we hear Yaya calling me. So it's like, shit, fuck what we were talking about. What's going on now? You know, and I'm sorry for using so many curse words, so many swear words, but I get really tight. Really tight when I think about this because at the end of the day, these people could have snatched my babies up and I wouldn't have been no more good. You hear me? I wouldn't have been no more good. So keep your kids close to you, even though you're trying to teach them to be responsible, to how to manage their money, to let them shop. Keep them close because these people is out here. And even though this lady was like, she went on there, she, girl, look, I am a black mama. I'm not trying to steal nobody here. Da, da, da. My son, 18. So if your son is 18, he a grown-ass man. Why are you over here talking to them about what happened to your grown-ass son? He probably was stealing. He probably was. But even if you wasn't on a type, any type of kidnapping or trafficking or whatever... You don't profile my babies as thieves because apparently that's what you was looking at them like when you time that you wanted to tell them something. So yeah, keep y'all babies close to y'all. I don't care how old they are, teenagers or whatever, because these this shit is real out here and these people just picking and they choosing. And they walking around these stores and they trying to get people kids and like it's babies I rust or kids I rust or something like that. And I'm not talking about the stores from back in the day. So, yeah. Y'all want to say anything else? No. Um, Y'all want to go shopping by yourself again? No. <laughs> so, yeah. But we just wanted to shed light on that. You know, that it's these people. That, and they look like regular, smegular, degular people. Walking around like they shopping. And they is. They shopping for your kids if you're not mindful. So, again, thank y'all for tuning in. This is Life with Remedy. I am Remedy. And they are part of my life. So welcome to our channel. And again, if you're new, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. And share, share, share. Turn on your post notifications. And again, if you are a returning viewer of my channel, thank you for coming back. And thank you for the support. And we're going to go have breakfast now. Y'all hungry? Yeah. I'm starving. Peace.